everyone, welcome back to Retro Rivals. I have something very exciting today. So, I'm gonna show you guys a little clip. I went down to my mailbox. I thought for sure, for sure my husband had ordered a box of stuff on eBay and I was like, good Lord, how much did this cost us? Also, what did we get? But no, I forgot I had ordered something on eBay and um, yeah, so here's the clip from the mailbox, and let's take a quick look. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Look what's in the mail! You don't have any clue, and at first I didn't have any clue because I forgot. But, we're gonna go home, and we're gonna open it up, and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. Dennis is gonna be so excited! I didn't tell you guys in the clip, but we're going to see now. And the reason I said that Dennis is really going to like this should be obvious to most people if you've watched one of our previous videos. Now, let's see if I can get into this. <laughs> Nightmare, we had mentioned another game in it, and then I was like, I'm only gonna play Nightmare, I will never play that other game. Well, Atmosphere! I'm super excited, guys. Um, I looked for this everywhere after that video. They are very rare and hard to find. There are also some expansion packs. I didn't really look at those. From what I understand about this game is that it is, well, it's a DVD board game, but that you can change up some of your settings so that you're never playing the same version twice. So it will kind of mix things around. So with the video board game, uh, the VCR version that we played, you can't mix things around. It's going to be the same every time. And if you guys had seen me in that video too, I was uh, mouthing along with the words or even saying it out loud sometimes. We had played it so many times when I was a kid. I know it verbatim. I know it verbatim. So yeah, so this is the first time I'm ever getting a look at this. So I'm gonna take the box off and we're gonna see it together. Here we go. Woo! the rules. So from what I'm seeing here, it's still the same. We still have our fate and our time cards, six characters, keys. Uh, yeah, well of fears. Well of fears. That must be the nightmare trial. And there's also the French version. And whatever that is. There's the DVD. I mean, there's nothing special about that. It's a DVD. I can't even get it out of the plastic, but I'm super thrilled that all these plastic pieces are still here. Uh, I'm not gonna pop this in there today. I'm gonna wait so that when we play it as a group, I'll be able to experience for, for the first time with everybody else. So stay tuned for that at some point. Shoot. Bubble wrap because who doesn't love some bubble wrap? And, ooh, they're very different. So, also what I read, see? I think that must be Gavaduin. Oh, that's the vampire, who I do believe is and a Shantran, if they're the same. Um, and Khufu, the mummy. But yeah, so from what I understand about this, and I mean, it's kind of obvious, I guess, with this, they're very colorful. Um, with the Nightmare game, everything was like very dark and mysterious and monochromatic, no Technicolor for sure. I guess this is a little, has a little bit more humor sprinkled in. Maybe won't be able to scare Dennis quite as bad. Or maybe we will. We don't know. We don't know until we play. Ooh, what's this? 
Oh, is this to roll your dice? Well, this is a well of fears. Maybe this goes in. Oh, maybe. Okay, so instead of like with Nightmare, how you have your little coffin whiteboard things that you put in the center of the Nightmare, I guess maybe the well of fears with that, you're gonna write your fear on the paper. You're gonna put it in the well of fears, crumple it up however you want and then and pick it out like that. So I like that idea because we were concerned that with the other one, it was going to wash off. So with this one, it can't. Um, so yeah, time cards, not as many. Oh, wait now, yes, two packs of time cards. I'm not gonna look at them. I don't wanna ruin anything. So time cards, just wanna show you guys. Uh, dice, for some reason, two. We only used one in Nightmare, so I'm not sure how that works, but We'll, when we do a playthrough, we will definitely check that out. And your fate cards. And then these tell you about the characters, which is really cool because we didn't have that as an option. So just for example, we'll read this one. Um, the witch, smoking, <laughs> smoking, as one of the first to be tried and fried in the great witch hunts of 18th century, the innocent Anne de Chantren was really hot under the collar angry about the roasting she received and set about lighting fires across the countryside using flaming pumpkins. Revenge is this witch on a slow burn. Yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys can see the, the front of the cards, they're really neat. I will take some close up shots for you guys as well so you can see everything. So yeah, there's your character cards, I guess. And we have your keys, which are very different. And then you also have key stands. So I'm guessing that just like the other one, you are going to be a number one through six as well as your character. So as you collect your keys, you will put them on your key stand. Again, very technicolor, very colorful, not as dark and, I, and you know what? That's the only thing that concerns me. I love the atmosphere of the old game. So I'm worried that this one is not going to hold up, but I'm going, when I play it, I'm going to play it with an open mind. I'm going to play it with an open mind. So yeah. Um, and then finally, I guess we should look at the board. Let's put all this stuff back in here. Nice and neat. There we go. Okay, let's move this to the side. So we can take a look at the board. Yes. Now, you know what? I know I was complaining about it being very technicolor, but I really like that board. What do you guys think? It comes across a lot better than I thought. So it is very obvious to me that your well of fears will go right here. And I guess pretty much there's no designated spot for your time cards, for your fate cards. Um, no chance cards I'm noticing. Um, and I also read as well that this game is 44 minutes long. It's, let's see here, let's see. Ooh, there's also a dual stone. When you land on a dual stone, a stone marked with the cross dagger icon, you can call a duel with another player. So this is why we need two dice. Roll one die each and the player will, who rolls the highest number takes a key from the loser without looking at the color. They must have at least one key before they can duel. So that's pretty cool. And uh, flight. So the dual one is, I'll take a close up of this, but it's the double crossed daggers. Flight, you, when you land on a flight stone, the winged icon, you can move immediately to any other flight stone on the board. Hmm. Fake cards. When you land on a fake card stone, a skull icon, or if the gatekeeper tells you to take a fake card, you must pick up a fake card following the instructions immediately, then return the card to the bottom of the deck. Cool. And time cards are denoted by the clock on the board. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But it does say here, 
that I did see the DVD playtime is 49 minutes. So 11 minutes shorter. I don't know how we could have gotten through the other one in 49 minutes because Scott was legit down to the wire. He was like 59 minutes and 30 seconds when he won the game. So there wouldn't have been any time to go to go with less with less time. Yeah, so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we're definitely gonna leave, gonna play it. Uh, the plan is, and it would be great to get some comments from our viewers, that we want to do a whole entire month of October uh, spooktacular Halloween related content. Um, we have plans to look at some like top 10 or top five maybe scariest games or top three we're not sure yet what we have time for uh i would like to do a costume um i don't want to wear a wig i don't want to wear a wig those things get hot but i would like some input from the viewers if you guys could give me some input as to what you think i should go with i have a few in mind that i'm leaning towards i want something recognizable so that's probably what I will do, but it would be nice to know what you guys think. And also, uh, although this video won't come out for probably a couple weeks, but, but shout out to my son. He is 12 today. Happy birthday, Alex. Uh, just wanted to say a shout out to our little retro rival who's not so little anymore. <sighs> okay. Anyways, yes, so it's his birthday today. Uh, he, of course, got a game because, yeah, he wanted a game. But, yeah, uh, so I'm filming back-to-back, uh, -back, although we will split this up into two series. Uh, also have some other fun stuff we're going to do. That's why I have my laptop to the side. But in the meantime, please like, comment, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let us know what you guys want to see. Um, if there's anything interesting you know that's coming out that you would like us to review, anything at all, please let us know, give us some comments, and till next time, keep gaming!